Okay, so as you can see here, I've put my rondelles aside. We're going to concentrate on the individual pieces now. Okay, so as you can see, I have several pieces that are finished, they're cut. This clear piece shows you that sometimes you can just place it on the pattern and just trace the pattern right onto it. Now, each piece, the line has to be within the copper line, not over it, not near it. It has to be within the copper line. And you can see that they're not, and that's okay, because you would rather have to shave the excess off than to have to cut a new piece because you cut too much. Now when you're cutting curves, it's okay to cut out a little bit and then do little bites because you don't want this to crack. You don't want, sometimes your glass will crack in places you don't want it to because it's too sharp a curve, okay? So what you can do is you can just kind of bite, make little bites. If you're a beginner in stained glass, that's a really easy way to get the arch that you want if you're too nervous to do it in one cut. Looking good. Okay, so here it is. They use the colors, they're cut. Now I have to actually start putting the came on. And one of the things I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to grind this glass down. So that will be in the next segment.